continuing our uh, introduction to NiFi, obviously we looked at the processors. You can ob also take a look at the input ports. You can also take a look at the output ports. You can take a look at the process group. You can take a look at the remote process group. You can look at the funnels. You can look at the templates and, and so on and so forth, right? Uh, but let's go get back to our, our original flow, which we had discussed in the previous video. Uh, let's take a look at <clears throat> what this get Twitter. So, you know, as I uh, selected the get Twitter processor and I, I right click um, in that particular processor, you can see, you know, uh, you can configure the processor, you can disable, you can look at the status history, you can look at the provenance of the data, you can look at the upstream, downstream connections if you, if it has any. Um, this is a neat, um, you know, interface, what, you know, all of it, very quickly you are able to get help and look at what all uh, attributes uh, that are important for that particular processor um, and so on and so forth. So, that is very important. Uh, you can obviously, you know, center and view, copy, paste, delete, you know, standard operations. So, so let's just uh, take a look at the configuration here. Um, as you can see, you know, this is enabled. Uh, obviously, each processor has an ID of a particular type. Uh, what the bundle is. Uh, some of uh, some of the variables uh, that you can set. Uh, you know, fairly standard variables, I would say, yield and penalty duration and bulletin level. You can look at the scheduling uh, aspects of it uh, because a lot of processors uh, you may want to schedule to run uh, on a periodic basis, right, especially in a streaming scenario. Uh, you can look at the properties. This is where, you know, the rubber meets the road, so to speak, as far as this particular processor is concerned. Uh, you're picking up an endpoint, and there are, you know, three or four or five endpoints uh, that Twitter typically uh, throws out a sample endpoint, a firehose endpoint, and a filter endpoint. Within filter endpoint, you can uh, filter tweets that are specific to topics or, you know, tags and so on and so forth. Sample is it's going to give you everything uh, that's happening, but only a fraction of those. And then the firehose is basically it will give you everything. Uh, that you need, right, that you want. Uh, the consumer key, consumer secret, access token, and access, access token secret is something that you will get once you set up as an application user uh, on the Twitter account. And you can just, you know, Google, um, you know, how to set up a Twitter developer account, and you will find several resources that can point you in the right direction. It's actually pretty straightforward. You, you have to create an account, you open an account, and you go uh, build an application, essentially. And, and then, you know, all these, you know, the consumer key, the secret, and so on and so forth are generated for you. So uh, standard, you know, encryption protocols apply. And any uh, comments that you may have for a processor, uh, you can take a look at that as well. Um, in the next video, we'll take a look at uh, the Elasticsearch component as well. And we'll then, you know, uh, in the following video, we'll actually run this process and see some data streaming into the Elasticsearch uh, engine, so to speak. So thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.